This is project 27 of Hacking with Swift. Now, you're probably tired of hearing me tell you this, but iOS is full of powerful frameworks we can use to build our apps. You've already met UIKit and SpriteKit. You've already met Core Animation, Core Location, Core Motion, Core Image, GCD, and more. But what if I told you you've yet to meet one of the biggest and most important frameworks of all, Core Graphics? Core Graphics is responsible for device-independent 2D drawing. When you want to draw shapes, paths, shadows, colors, or so on, you'll want Core Graphics. And being device-independent means you can draw things to the screen or draw them in a PDF without having to change your code. There's lots I want to show you, so let's go straight to Xcode. Choose Create a New Xcode Project. Select iOS, Single View App, then press Next. Call this thing Project 27, then press Next, and create on your desktop. Please change devices from Universal to just iPad only. Then uncheck Portrait and Upside Down, because we'll create a Core Graphics Sandbox that's similar to Project 15's Core Animation Sandbox. There'll be a button you can press to trigger Core Graphics drawing in different ways. If you haven't already downloaded the files for this project, please do so now from GitHub. They're at github.com slash two straws, slash hacking with Swift. I have them already on my desktop. So I'll go into Finder, choose Hacking with Swift, find Project 27 files. There's one file in there, this mouse at 2x ping file. I'm gonna add that to my asset catalog in Xcode. I'll just drag that on into there. 